Hi everyone, this is Yuki Belva. As you know, in the beginning of this year, in January, I was in Philippines to find out uh, what makes Philippines such a good country to study medicine. What are the USPs of studying in Philippines? So, because uh, Philippines is in the top three highest MCI uh, scores country, so definitely it deserves uh, the research, going there and finding out more about it. So in this video, I'm gonna uh, tell you about the Wow Medical School Foundation. Um, see, to judge a university, you need to see how good, how advanced is that university. We can check it out through uh, by going to their simulation center, simulation department. We can know better about their practical approach, uh, how much they believe in that. So we can visit the anatomy lab. We can check out the cadavers, the strength whether they have enough cadavers for the for the uh, practical approach uh, of the subject then when we talk about research for uh, during the physiology uh, uh, subject we visit the research uh, department of the university as well and uh, we also saw the innovative labs uh, there for human uh, anatomy uh, understanding so it was a really nice experience for me and last but not the least uh, to see the strength of the testing centers also we, we were there so yeah um, i am sure i had a really good experience uh, being there in the wow medical school foundation and i hope you'll have the same experience while watching this video please try to watch this video till the end so that you will have the overall understanding about this university which is very important thank you so much we can see from outside uh, it's not possible let's try okay. hopefully we can just so in this area, this is our visitors area. Yes. Um, I'm just like to inform you, is it okay if we're not, mom? Are they allowed, mom? Allowed to have pictures. 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 Okay. Pictures. Okay. Pictures. Okay. Pictures. Okay. Pictures. Okay. Pictures. Thank you. So for for this area. Commonly, this is where our doctors will be coming, our students as well, and our visitors. Mm -hmm. So they will be using the lockers mm -hmm. and have this one as a key. Okay. We don't have any keys here. Most of our sessions last for around two hours. So after each session, they just get their things and goes out. So some of the visitors get on asking what if they miss this one. So they need not to worry as we have a manual for this oh, one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's go to our BLS. Yeah. During sessions, we do have two theaters. Yeah. And currently, both of them have students. Okay. So we will be able to enter that. Okay. So this is our BLS ACMS. So this is where we held our basic life support intended for fourth year incoming clerks as the Department of Health hmm. is uh, requiring all our students going to the hospitals to know the basic um, CPR. Hmm. So this is where we teach them. So our staff is equipped as instructors. Kind of a model for hospital, like a model for hospital. Yes, okay. yes. So this one, um, this, this can be converted to a ward. It oh. depends on the scenario. However, each bed will be for our basic life support. So that is our equipment mm -hmm. that will be, will be placed. Mm -hmm. So this one is our Hargi mm -hmm. mannequin. Or I think I um I think that this is the first Harvey in the Philippines. Mm. Mostly we um the main purpose of this one is for an advanced audio um heart and lung sounds. Mm. So what it usually the uh, what it what its function is the teacher is using this one while at the same time ah. the students is using this one via Bluetooth. So what the teacher is listening the students will also be able to listen at the mm. same time so it's a really big help for so that they can explain what's going on and what, what yes. the sound is like and also they will be able to know if the students really know mm. if that is the correct um, heart sound and lung sound as mm. well okay. so mm. that 
that's uh, the main purpose here. Okay. Let's go now to our the storages. Hmm. We kept instruments and hmm. task trainers separate hmm. because um, all our things are bar barcoded. So it's very important for us to separate both as uh, for for us to know if something is missing. Mm. So mostly we do have biomet biometrics for the students to not go inside. They are really not allowed to go inside. Okay. Okay. So we can't see them. I think no one is using word. So this is our debriefing rooms. We have four simulated rooms. So we have ICU on the other side. This will be going to enter for the ward. The other one is OR. Each session, we maximize them up to six only for really for the teachers to focus the, um, the management of the students. So mostly our um, batches. No, most of the groups are 10, mm. 10 students. Mm. So some of the students goes to the area that we ch checked on the, the mm. other week yeah. and the others will be coming here. Okay. So after they, they had their session, they're going to debrief mm. for the students to see mm. what are their actions are, yeah. what are mm. the things that they need to work on. Mm. So these are some of our high fidelity mannequins. Mm. It is high fidelity in a sense that mm. it doesn't have any wires in it. So this is ha um, this is Wi-Fi operated in a sense that if you will be placing this one on the floor, it can still be turned on. Got it. Mm. So that's uh, mm. the one of the advanced mannequins that we have. Mm. So for our scene, I think we had this one. One of the latest gadget that we had is for the kind. Sorry, <laughs> is this one? I know. So we have sonogram. So uh, the main, uh, this one is a separate one. So this skin intended for the students to know what are the different mm. kinds of images that they can be seen I'll in the on. pregnant women. Yes. Oh. So for um, this one basically has only the audio, uh, mm. the automatic delivery as well as the manual and the CS. So we, we bought this one for the students to know if it is already breached just by checking on the sonograms as oh, well. Oh, so, I know. Yeah, so that's the main, one of the advantage that the students will be having in mm. case that they will be just be um, one or three of them in the hospital and they need to really check on the babies. Mm. Well. So they can uh, use the ultrasound machine? Yes, of oh, course. Okay. So that's the advantage. Mm. At your back, that's a Sima new baby. Mm. So... This new baby is commonly for, since we, uh, this little one mm. is the one we'll be placing inside the inside mommy. Inside the mommy. So, since um, it doesn't have any features, mm. we're just replacing it. So, we want the students also to manage the newborn. So, mm. we, we bought this one just for that purpose mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So, what we can have this one, we have umbilical mm. catheterization. Yes, yes, yes. We can have this mm. one and mm. features as well. Okay. Uh, also, I forgot. Um, this center, most of medical, uh, what do you call that? Most of the medical schools mm. don't have any. Uh, don't have really a one center, so they mm. can. They only have one or two mannequins. Mm. So the main reason or purpose why this has been approved by the board is that it can. It has dual purpose. So. All um so, uh, we have IT people here and all of us are nurses. So we have uh, we are forty nurses and I think six or five um IT people. The main purpose is in case at our hospital um there will be a, an influx of patients, mm -hmm. we can accommodate real patients here. Oh. Yes. So all our um things uh, uh, such as the oxygen as well as our for operating th uh, operating room they can be convertible to patients use real hospital you can yes it to. so um unfortunately we cannot see the icu but oh. we do have a magnet there okay. where we can be of use for those patients that out of need for an icu setup as well so it's a real setup yes oh great so i nice. think that's it and lastly for our or hmm.
we are as of the moment cleaning this area. Okay. So this OR is HEPA filtered as well, functioning uh, anesthesia machine, cautery machine. So in case that we can really we really need a sterilized instruments, as all our instruments are not that of um, as a auto plate or, or mm. you know. So mm. we we usually go to the hospital. We communicate with them to ask for for the things that we need. Mm. So so that is the common things that we are doing right now. As we all know, we don't have any auto plate here, so it's mm. very important for us if we can if we really need to use this one for patients. Mm. Real patients. Yes. Mm. So this is all the setup as of the moment for okay. the center. This is. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, this. All our simulated areas have one way mirror. vision. Mm. So, the most of the sessions that we have, mm. we that the students don't have any teachers inside. So what the teachers do is observe uh, mm. on the inside. And at times we, if they need to communicate with the um, students, mm. they usually do. Uh, they usually communicate via a speaker mm. but using the but but you see uh, but it, I think I, I really don't know if what is the setup I understand mm. yes but but mostly they usually communicate they kind of observe what the student is doing with the patient is it yes yes but mostly they 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 uh, mostly they communicate with the patient uh, they ah sorry sorry ah all the things that I had said is mixed up so what they usually do is buy an audio video. So mostly they are considered as the patient. I know that they, they speak as a patient, and At they times, tell. Yes. I know. I know. They tell their problems and all, and the student has mm -hmm. to react according. Uh, so hi everyone, we are at the anatomy lab of the uh, uh, Wow Medical School Foundation, and you can see. अभी कई बार हम लोग बहुत से anatomy lab में जाते हैं, एक दो कैरेवस मिलते हैं, लेकिन यहाँ पे I think more than twenty कैरेवस uh, are uh, on the table and this is also uh, the this is also the case where the fresh you know uh, bodies are kept like not said that rotten so ye dekhiye aap yahan pe bachcho ko jo bhi ise real experience chahiye hota hai body kaise dikhti hai andar se kya kya cheeze hoti hai wo sab yahan pe provided hai aur uh, i think jinko rehta hai ye ki me cadavers hone chahiye halanki ab aajkal bahut technology ke through 5d ke through bahut sari cheeze aur easy ho gayi hain but in case you have this thing, then the Wow Medical uh, School of Foundation has all the facilities for your education. Yeah. So this is our uh, research center laboratory. We have here our molecular bio lab. Okay. We have our PCR. Okay. And here we have PCR okay. for DNA. Yeah. Hmm. And then here we have FDIR. Hmm. Uh, that is for functional groups. Hmm. And this is our biochemistry lab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have also another lab at the back, mm -hmm. uh, at the third floor annex building, which is the inorganic lab. Okay, okay. So uh, who research the here? Uh, uh, who does the students research? Students for their pharma research. Okay, okay. Um, right. right now we have students. Yeah. Yeah. Currently we are going uh, under pharma research. This is our HPLC. Hmm. <coughs> and we have also our microblade reader. So this is the familiar with rotary evaporator. Okay. And this is for solvent extraction. We have not seen this. What is happening here? What is happening here? Come, come. So, what do you want to tell about the research laboratory? Yes, in the research laboratory, in the first year, the physiologic subject, there is also a topic of research. There is also a percentage of research, 40% or 60%. So, they have to research on particular things like 
if something like any herbal uh, any medicine which is causing a, p- a particular effects on our body system or any organ system mm. or whether it has any other uh, adverse effects so, or, so they can note it and they have their research books here mm. so they make their own research portfolio and everything Achha. and they submit it here so they get okay they study. get the points okay. yeah Achha. it's a part of a study yes okay sure understood outcomes of babies pre exposure prophylaxis in the ocd now see this is the thing mm. they are more uh, there are more number of cases of babies here mm. okay because no, they guess so they have uh, more number of babies uh, uh, acha okay successes are more visible here mm, so this is a uh, these are the slice body 2 mm slice karke isko yahan lagaya hua hai cadaver is dissected right mm. it is not that organized mm. but this is so organized mm. you can identify the structures here so it can help students mm. actually i am amazed to see this it's mm. amazing for the whole body the slices are there for the understanding of the student because while they do di- dissect themselves they might not be able to dissect in this you know finishing in this way so they are all real bodies which are preserved in a way that everything is visible and uh, it can be useful for their study purpose Uh, hi everyone this is yukti belwal and right now we are at davao medical school foundation and this is uh, one of the department where they uh, the students uh, you know get their exams done there is no paper used here so this paperless exam as you can see that uh, the student id and password has to be put in here so the exams of all the subjects are given here and uh, this there is a login uh, way there where the student put in their information and that they get their login and password so you can see at one time t- more than 300 300 students can sit here